Okay, so it turns out that the painter's, painter's lamp that I was using earlier doesn't draw as much current as I thought, only about an amp and a half. So that's a much too small a percentage of the load to get a good measurement. So in the lower left-hand corner of your frame here, you'll see that I've got a um, space heater, 1500 watt space heater that will draw roughly 10 amps at full load. And right now I have it drawing 5 amps at 120 volts set to draw 5 amps at 120 volts and it is uh, being powered from the AC current coming from the house right now so I'm gonna take that and I'm going to attach it now to the output of the generator run a, uh, a test and then I'm going to run a second test with the additional power from the VS50M being drawn from the generator and injecting the HHO into the into the generator and we'll see what the timing results are and improvement in efficiency. So I'm unplugging it from the AC on the house, plugging it into the AC receptacle of the generator. at it. Now that I know how much power this is going to draw, I'll just plug this directly into the generator as well. Alternate phase. So I've plugged the uh, VS50M into the alternate phase. It is turned off right now. I will reconnect the tube for the HHO cell electrolyzer. And start it up. And to get the generator to run smoothly, I do have to make it a little bit richer with the choke adjustment. Mark. Quite a bit of heat coming out of the uh, heater here. Like I said, I do have it throttled back a little bit. mark. So 50 seconds. 600 watts, 50 seconds. That's almost identical to 150 watts. What that tells me is the engine doesn't really care how much power I'm generating. It's so inefficient to begin with. Who cares? Now I'm going to turn the generator on. We're going to go to about 1200 watts. Right away I hear the uh, motor laboring a little bit harder. Twelve hundred watts, no HHO. Ah, it's going too fast. All right, here we go. This is twelve hundred watts now coming, being drawn from the generator. 
No HHO. Looks like it's going to deplete this in about 40 seconds. So when I inject HHO, I'm going to be looking to come back to a baseline of something longer than 50 seconds. Mark, 42 seconds. I know HHO is coming out of that tip. So I gotta attach it now. Hold on a sec. Because it is running smoother, I can go a little bit less choke and run it just a little bit leaner. Of course, one of the benefits of HHO. All right, still drawing 1,200 watts. I'm looking for a baseline figure of longer than 50 seconds, and we're starting now. seconds. So we didn't come all the way back to 50 seconds. We came close. I'm going to see if I can run a little bit leaner maybe. Open the choke all the way. Still at 1200 watts. Leverage the benefit of the HHO and being able to run it a little bit leaner. Starting. Starting. 